Hello makers, this is Mark from Bot Sauna, and today I'm going to give you a tip on how to have Simplify 3D automatically upload sliced files to your Octoprint server uh, without having to do the drag and drop through the web interface. If that sounds like fun to you, uh, stick around and uh, we're going to head over to the PC and I'll show you what that looks like. In order to have Simplify 3D upload sliced models to Octoprint uh, automatically uh, after we slice them, um, we're going to use a post processing script. It can be shown here in Simplified 3D under the Process Settings, the Scripts tab. Got it down here. We're going to use a little utility called curl. The good news is, if you're running a Mac, that is, or Linux perhaps, uh, curl comes with your operating system. Um, if you're on Windows, like I am here, you're going to have to install it. And to do that, we're going to open up our favorite browser and go to https curl.hacks.se. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, and I grabbed this uh, zip file here by Victor. Um, the yellow just means that it's the most current stable version uh, available of the software. Uh, when you download this, you need to extract it, and then go into the bin folder, take curl exe and libcurl dll, copy them out, and put them in Windows System 32 folder. And that's it. We now have curl. Search for it here. There it is. Okay, so we have curl all set up. Let's go back into Simplify 3D and actually look at this script that we'll be using. Put it here in text editor so maybe it's easier to read. Um, you're going to want to replace this section here. It says your API key. Yeah, You need to put the API key from your Octoprint installation in that. Um, to find that, you know, log into your Octoprint server, go to settings, click on API, and then you can just copy and paste it uh, right out of this API key field. So once you have once you have that API key, uh, you just substitute it here in this post processing script, and then you input the IP address of your Octoprint server uh, here, where it says your IP. Once you've done that. OK, and let's go ahead and import a model. We'll use the famous 3D Benchy here. There he is. Let's prepare to print it. All right. Now, I'm going to hit Save Tool Paths to, well, actually, let's go back to Octoprint first. You can see I got nothing here uh, in my queue to print at all. Um, let's come over here. In Simplify 3D, now that we have our post processing script in place, hit Save Tool Pass to Disk. Watch what happens. There it is, our 3D Benchy. Now, as you can, as you notice, this isn't um, hasn't been selected to print. Uh, we'd actually have to come in here and and select it or or hit the Print button. Um, but we can change that behavior in our post processing script. Uh, by changing this here, where it says select equals false, if you change that to select equals true, um, it will automatically select the file and queue it for printing, uh, but it won't start. However, if you change select to true and print here 
to true, uh, it will actually uh, start printing the file as soon as it's uh, finished uploading. So let's go ahead and I'll show you that now. Let me just delete that Benchy. Come back into Simplify 3D here. Just change this to true. Change this to true. Hit OK. Prepare to print. Save toolpath. And there it goes. You can see it's actually printing 3D Benchy, and the heated bed is starting to warm up and get ready for the print. And that's really all there is to it. Um, same script works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, the only difference is with the Windows machines, you have to install curl. Um, and I'll have the links for all of that down in the description below. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope a few of you found that helpful. Uh, if there's something else you want to learn about, uh, leave me a comment down in the description below. I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to Joel Telling, the 3D printing nerd, and uh, Lauren over at ABuzz Designs. Uh, they finally convinced me that uh, I needed to make a video and share a few of the things I know about 3D printing with you guys. Uh, if you haven't checked them out, uh, be sure and do that. I'll have links to them uh, down in the description. Again, thank you for watching, and uh, you know, we're makers. Let's make today great.